Welcome back to Vino Geeks. Today's video we will unveil a special presentation of Wine Spectator's Top 10 Wines of 2023. From bold reds to elegant whites, these wines represent the pinnacle of craftsmanship and quality in the world of wine. If you enjoy discovering new wines and expanding your wine knowledge, consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting wine-related content. Kicking off our list is the Argiano Brunello di Montalcino 2018. With a stellar score of 95 and priced at $90, this wine has captivated critics and connoisseurs alike. Under new ownership, Argiano has returned to a more traditional expression of Brunello, earning it Wine of the Year honors from Wine Spectator in 2023. Next up is the Occidental Pinot Noir West Sonoma Coast Freestone Occidental 2021. With a score of 94 and priced at $65, this wine reflects the extreme terroir of the West Sonoma Coast, A. V. A. Produced by Steve Kistler and his daughter Catherine, this Pinot Noir brims with pure blackberry and cherry fruit, enlivened by a light savory note. Moving on to our third wine, we have the Chateau Lynch Badges Powellac 2020. With a remarkable score of 96 and priced at $137, this classic Bordeaux exemplifies modern winemaking at its finest. Proprietor Jean-Charles Cases and winemaker Nicolas Leben unveiled a new winery in time for the 2020 harvest, christening it with this classic quality wine. Our fourth wine on the list is the Rain Pinot Noir Sonoma Coast Royal Saint. Robert Cuvée 2021. With a score of 95 and priced at $70, this wine is a testament to the dedication of the Mondavi family to Pinot Noir. Brothers Carlo and Dante Mondavi, along with winemaker Melanie McIntyre, have established reign among the vanguard of California Pinot Noir producers. Next up, we have the Mastro Berardino Tarassi Radici Reserva 2016. With a score of 95 and priced at $73, this wine embodies the rich history and tradition of Campania in southern Italy. Helmed by 10th generation vintner Piero Mastro Berardino, this Tarassi showcases a more robust style, with extended aging and a focus on purity of fruit. Our sixth wine on the list is the Dunn Cabernet Sauvignon Howell Mountain 2019. With a score of 96 and priced at $175, this wine hails from one of Napa Valley's most distinctive terroirs. Produced by Randy Dunn and his son Mike, this Cabernet remains one of Napa Valley's longest-lived wines, with dense fruit and grippy tannins. Moving on to our seventh wine, we have the Antonori Chianti Classico Marchese Antonori Reserva 2020. With a score of 95 and priced at $50, this wine is a classic expression of Tuscan Sangiovese. Sourced from the iconic Tenuta Tignanello, this reserva offers notes of iron, olive, and tobacco, with greater depth and structure than the Anata. Our eighth wine on the list is the Chateau Pichin Baron Powellac 2020. With an impressive score of 97 and priced at $165, this Bordeaux exemplifies the excellence of the left bank. Managed by Christian Seely and winemaker Jean René Matignon, Pitchin Baron's Grand Vin offers a broad and well-proportioned palate, with a vibrant iron spine and dark fruit. Next up, we have the Resonance Pinot Noir Willamette Valley 2021. With a score of 94 and priced at $40, this wine represents Maison Louis Jadot's first project outside Burgundy. Produced by winemakers Guillaume Large and Jacques Lardier, this Pinot Noir offers a blend of elegance and terroir-driven character, with aging in French oak adding complexity. Last but not least, we have the Greywax Sauvignon Blanc Marlboro 2022. With a score of 95 and priced at $23, this wine showcases the expertise of founder Kevin Judd in crafting outstanding Sauvignon Blanc. Lightly pressed and fermented in stainless steel, this wine offers vibrant fruit and minerality, setting the benchmark for New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. There you have it, folks. Wine Spectator's Top 10 Wines of 2023. From Italy to California, Bordeaux to New Zealand, 
These wines represent the best of the best in the world of wine. Which wine are you most excited to try? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow wine lovers. Until next time, cheers to great wine!